Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't already know me, my name is Clint. I make videos on fashion, lifestyle, and beauty. And I'm from the Philippines. So today I decided to make a Shopee haul. I planned to make this video like a month ago, but then I ordered a lot of stuff from Shopee and it came at random times and the last package finally arrived today. So I decided to sit my butt down and finally film this Shopee haul. In the past, I've always bought accessories from Shopee but never clothes because I was always scared of getting really bad items. But today for this haul, I decided to try out some items if, to see if they were good. Enough of my talking and now I want to show you guys what I got. So let's get on with the haul part of this video. So the first item I want to show you guys is this blue plaid mini skirt. It actually reminds me so much of the skirts they sell in Brandy Melville but obviously at a much cheaper price. The blue and yellow plaid on this is super cute and actually it's not a mini skirt, it's a skirt. As you can see, there's shorts lining inside which I really love because when I wear mini skirts, I always wear cycling shorts underneath just so that I don't flash anyone. The fact that this has built-in shorts in it is a super plus for me. Also, it fits me really well as you can see. And also, what I love about this skirt is the little slit on the bottom. It has two slits but it's not that high to be scandalous but it's cute enough to make a statement as you can see. And that's basically all I have to say about this skirt. It's a 5 star from me. For my next purchase, I'm really excited about this because I saved this top in my Pinterest board like 3 months ago and I finally got it. It's this crop top with this under boob detailing on it. It's just in white. I'm really in love with the fit of this top. I think it's so pretty. And look at it. The material is actually quite good. It's quite thick for the price. I was expecting it to be really thin and see-through but I'm glad it isn't. So as you can see, it's just a basic white crop top with the under boob detailing on it. It fits me so well. It just ends right above my belly button and I got it in a size medium. And also, I got a bit of makeup on it when I was trying it on in the other clip. This reminds me so much of the Orson Iris top. I think they have it in the spaghetti type top thing with the under boob detailing. I have no idea what I'm saying but I'll add a picture right there. So for my next purchase, I got this two-tone polo shirt thing with the little tie thing on the bottom. I'm really bad at explaining things so I hope you can forgive me for that. But this top is really cute. It has just this black and white detailing on it. It reminds me of the yun and yang symbol. As you can see, it's a crop top. It has this little tight thing detailing on it and it has a collar and buttons. I'm really bad at explaining items. I actually saw a similar top in Mango like before the lockdown started. I don't even know when that was anymore. I was surprised by the material because I was expecting it to be... I don't know the word for it. But I was expecting it to be in a different material, but I'm not really mad at the material. I think it's cute. This is that. This is the monochrome top, and it's really cute. So there's that. So as you can see, I'm wearing another top. It's because it's the next day, and being my forgetful self, I forgot that I wanted to show you guys some other stuff as well. So we're gonna ignore the quick costume change. So for the first thing that I want to show you guys, it's this tiny crop top. It's sheer. It has this little angels printed all over it and it has this little lace detailing on the neckline. I think it's really cute and it's very tiny as you can see so I'm surprised that it actually fitted me and it's really cute. It's As I said, it's sheer but it has this white lining in front. It's not that thick but it does the job of covering the bits 
In the back, it's it has no lining as you can see. That's why you need to wear a sticky bra with it. Or you could also wear a bralette underneath. I think that would be really cute as well. So the next item I got is also a crop top. It's just plain blue. As you can see, most of the stuff that I got are either blue, white, black, or a mixture of both. But this crop top is also cute. It's just plain. It has this little scallop detailing on the sleeves as well as the neckline and at the bottom. I mean, it's all throughout actually. It has this little white buttons on it. It's really cute. It has just vertical stripes all over it. And actually, I have nothing much more to say about it because it's plain top. So for the last item that I got, it's this beautiful, beautiful dress. It's colored black. It's just, it has a silk satin finish on it. The material is actually not the best, but the fit, the fit, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, the fit is so good. As you can see in the clip, it fits me so well. I love the sleeve detailing on it. It's not a belt, but I love how it flares out and it hugs your wrist. I really love that detail. It's a business in the front situation and a party in the back because it is backless, but I don't really mind. I love wearing backless stuff. The front has a little slit in the middle, but I don't really mind because I'm part of the itty bitty titty community, so there's really nothing much to see. But I really love how it fits me. I love how it falls. I even love the length. The only thing that I don't really love about this is the material. The material now that I look at it I'm really in love with this dress so now that I'm done with the clothes I want to start off with the accessories so first of all I'm gonna show you the shades that I got and I got quite a lot so first off I wanted to start with these shades it's so so cute I didn't expect it to be cute I actually originally thought I ordered the black one but I'm so glad that I ordered this one because I think it's a lot cooler and it gives your outfit a lot more character when you're wearing it. It's just basically this rectangular lens shape with yellow frame, yellow frames and blue lenses. It's super cute, it's transparent. I think it looks so retro, the colors, the overall shape. It's just chef's kiss. I love this so much and the good thing about it is that it fits my face. As I said, I have quite a big temporal area so I can't really find shades that fit me so I'm really happy that this fitted me so for all you girls that have wide temples I say go for this because it's really cute as you can see like so the next pair of shades that I'm gonna be showing you guys is not actually mine, it's my sister's but I ordered it for her and she gave me permission to include this in my haul and I thought it was really cute and unique so I decided to show it to you guys. It's just basically this blue-green flames. It's not shades because you can't wear it outside, it's not practical. As you can see, it doesn't even cover my eyes and as you can see, I have small eyes. So it's basically just for the aesthetic. and. We're all, we all live for the aesthetic, so why not? So basically, this shades is just shaped like a flame, as you can see. It's really cute. It has this blue-green hologram thingy, and it has gold hardware on it, which I think adds a really nice touch to the blue and green color. So as you can see, it's really cute. It's a bit flimsy, but I don't really mind because, it, as you can see, it's quite thin. So it, you're, you're gonna be expecting it to be flimsy. If you're wearing a plain outfit and you want to step it up a bit, I suggest you get these shades because your outfit is literally gonna be on fire. So next up are these cow print shades. I actually watched a, some, not a lot, some Shopee hauls before, before filming mine and before shopping. And I saw a few YouTubers who got these pair of shades. I think one of them was Rayo Blue. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right. I'm really sorry if I'm butchering up her name, but these pair of shades, I fell in love with them the first time I saw them in a video and I just had to get a pair. And I was originally scared that this were this pair was not gonna fit my face. As I said, I have white temples. And it honestly fits me quite well. I don't love the fit as much as I love the other ones, but I'm not complaining. It has this cow print on it which is white and black it has this oval frame shape on it and just black lenses and i don't really have any more words to describe this pair of shades except that it's really cute and trendy and 
that. Because I am an aesthetic ho and I live purely for the aesthetic, I got another pair of shades that basically does nothing to cover my eyes. But they are cute. As you can see, these are my second pair of shades that I got that are yellow. I think I am obsessed with this overall palette. But it's cute. Wow, it started raining so bad. But the overall shape is this yellow cat eye. It's this super tiny cat eye. The lenses are just plain black. And as you can see, they're super tiny. They're, they do nothing to cover my eyes. When I wear them, it actually reminds me of the Instagram account of the person wearing the entire latex body thing. If I do find a picture, I'll insert it somewhere here. But it reminds me of that. And I think... It's still cute. So for the last pair of shades that I got, it's this brown tiny shades as well. They do nothing to cover my eyes once again. I mean, they do cover my eyes, but it doesn't look good unless I do this. Like I do for my, all my shades, like everyone does on Instagram. So I just opened my phone to search what this shade or color or print was. And apparently it's called tortoise color. As you can see, it's in most glasses actually i know some people who have glasses in this shade and i think it's really cute it gives me that sort of parisian french girl cool french girl vibe and i like it especially with this gold necklace Oof. so the first thing for my necklace part of this haul is this gold chains i think it looks really cute now that i spend a lot of time on instagram and now that I follow a lot of this European aesthetics account, I see a lot of these girls wearing these gold chains as accessories. So I really desperately wanted one. When I was looking in Shopee, I found these ones. It's actually really cheap. So if I get tired of wearing this, at least I didn't spend a lot of money on it. And it's just this chunky gold chains. And it's not the typical long chains. It's just this short choker type. I don't really have a lot of necklaces that are choker type so this is quite a new thing for me but I think it looks really cute and it's not actually that uncomfortable. So all of the accessories that I got are gold and the next one I got is this gold chains again but it's smaller. It has this gold medallions on it. I'm not really sure what it's called but basically it has these five gold medallions on it and it's double chain. So I'm really excited to wear this with like a plain white t-shirt and maybe some jeans. I think it will look really cool and a statement piece. So I'm really excited about this one as well. So my next necklace is this super tiny choker thing. At first I thought it wouldn't fit my neck but it's quite adjustable as you can see. It's quite flimsy but I don't think it will break easily. I hope so. And it's super cute because there's this little angel detailing on it which I really love. And it also has this fake crystals on it which I'm not su a super fan of but I don't really mind because of the angels it's super cute and it's super dainty I don't really own any dainty necklaces so I'm really excited about this one as well it's super small and if you want a bit of gold detailing on your outfit it's perfect for that so I'm really excited about it. So it started raining really hard and I'm sorry if you can hear it in the background but I really want to finish filming this because I have a meeting in like two hours. So I'm gonna show you this next necklace. It's this super cute necklace. So it's this choker thing and it has this chain that extends it a bit and it has the same gold coin as the one I showed you in the previous necklace. I think it's super cute. I, most of the necklaces I bought were chokers so this is a different style. So now that I'm done with all the accessories and clothing, I want to go on to the home decors. So for the first thing I got, it's completely useless but it's so so cute that I couldn't resist buying it. It's basically this bust of the Statue of David. As you can see, it's really cute. So don't come at me for buying this. It's, really, it's made of this really good material. It's not exactly ceramic or it's not exactly the... I forgot what material it is but... It's quite a good material, it's not hollow, it's quite heavy, so it's a good weight. And look at that, the detailing on it. 
like he, it looks like he's staring at you so it's cute and it matches the overall vibe of my room so i said why not i just got it it's a cute addition to my room so i'm really happy about it so the next decor i got is actually behind me it's here and i have another one here for my shelf near my vanity it's basically just this vases it's plastic it's not actually ceramic or so even if you maybe dropped it it's not gonna break i'm really happy about this i thought originally it was gonna be ceramic but i'm actually happy that it's not because if it was too heavy i might have knocked it or it might have been broken in the shipping process so i'm really glad it's plastic and it looks really cute it matches the overall vibe of my room as well as you can see it goes well in this little corner here so now this is gonna be my little filming area so the next things that i got are these pillows they are decorative pillows that i got for my room makeover i actually bought two of the pillow stuffings on shopee as well like two of these and the other one i actually had a throw pillow in my room already so i just changed the cover i got the cover did you guys hear that it's the thunder is coming as well but we're gonna ignore that and this pillow cover i got is so soft as you can see it's this suede material or velvet i'm not actually sure i think it's velvet and it's super duper cute i got two in this dark gold shade i can't really describe the color that well but as you can see it looks so cute and the last pillow i pillowcase i got is in this champagne light gold color so it matches the overall vibe of my room as well as you can see i have a lot of brown green and white going on so i'm really happy about this and it's so so soft so the last thing for this shopee haul are these posters that i got online as well it's just basically all line art i'm really into line art recently and i wanted to get some for uh decorative wall just behind my headboard just so that it can make it can draw your eye towards that when you enter the room and i got like i think seven or eight designs as you can see they're all line art i'm really obsessed with it it's just basically tarpaulin actually but it, it was really cheap so i didn't i don't really mind that it's just tarpaulin i think it's printed really well i'm gonna show you guys one it's not that it's not blurry at all as you can see it's quite high quality it's just a bit shiny i'm planning to have this frame soon as soon as the framing center or business opens as of the moment they're still not open so i can't really finish this room makeover because of that but i'm really excited do you guys hear the thunder i'm really sorry about it i wanted to film this today i didn't expect it was gonna rain but we're just gonna have to deal with it so as you can see these line arts are pretty cute i'm really excited to have them framed and look at this look it's so so cute it's such a good detail for a room so if you guys are looking for cute posters i suggest you guys checking out this shop that i got it at so that's basically it for this shopee haul i hope you guys enjoyed it if you're a bit scared of trying to buy items from shopee i suggest you go try it out yourself and do make sure you read the reviews and if there isn't any reviews i suggest you try checking out the seller's response rate and delivery rate or whatever the rates are just so you can make sure the seller is actually legit so that's all my advice for buying from Shopee and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, do subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot to me. Give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps me a lot as well. And if you guys don't already know, I have a new Instagram. It's at glynn.v. I hope you can check it out. And so that's it for this week's video. See you guys in my next one. Bye!